All right, so here, first thing let's do, let's convert from Celsius to Kelvin, okay? So Kelvin is gonna be equal to degrees Celsius plus 273.15. So our temperature is negative 100 degrees Celsius, negative 170 degrees Celsius. We add 273.15 to that to get the temperature in Kelvin. Negative 170 plus 273.15. Gives us a temperature of 103.15 Kelvin. Okay, so now we can follow the x axis here. All right, so we have a sample uh, at 103.15 Kelvin, which is about here. Okay, each increment is 50 Kelvin and 0.6 atm. So we have 0 atm. Here's 0.1, from 2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0.6. So let's see where they intersect. Come across, come down. Here's the point of intersection. The state of the sample is solid. Suppose the temperature is held constant at at uh, 100 and negative 170 degrees Celsius, which is about 100 Kelvin. But the pressure is decreased by 0.3. 3 atm so we go down 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 okay we go down from 0.6 to 0.3 let's see where we are now so we're going to use yellow for the second um for the second part so we go down 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 so here's a new pressure come across to the same temperature there's our new point guess what nothing it's still in the solid state okay well suppose on the other hand the pressure is held constant is 0 0.6 so we're going to use red here the pressure is held constant at 0 0.6 but the temperature is increased by 179 degrees celsius so an increase of 179 degrees celsius is also an increase of 179 kelvin so the new temperature would be 282.15 Kelvin. So that's about here, okay? So we come across and come down. Our new point of intersection is there. So we are now in the liquid phase. So what happened? We went from solid to liquid. What will happen to the sample? As we increase the temperature but kept the pressure constant, it melted.